Hi friends, Sam here with Happily Hooked. I am so excited. So today we are going to be doing a border on Tunisian crochet. If you guys have been following along over on our Facebook Lives every Thursday, I'm making a Tunisian temperature blanket over there and a lot of you have asked how are you going to put a border on it? How do you put a border on Tunisian? How do you keep Tunisian crochet from curling? So this is just a super simple border. I'm going to try and get into more details in the next coming weeks with some different borders and different ways to add pretty edging to your blankets. Um, but this is just a super simple one. It's probably going to be the one that I use for my blanket and I'm really excited to show you guys. So I'm going to grab my hook and my yarn and let's get started. Hi friends, real quick, when you click the link below to join Happily Hooked Magazine, not only do you get to join the happiest place on earth for crocheters, you're also going to get these amazing hooks and this amazing project bag that I use every single day. So click the link below and subscribe today and I'll see you in the community. Bye! Okay, so like I said, I'm going to show you guys how to add a border to Tunisian crochet. So I made this little square, obviously it's all rolled up. And with some of these, you can just block it out and it'll mostly stay straight. Um, you can. And it's very dependent on your hook size. So I used this Big Twist Value in medium rows. Um, it's just a worsted weight yarn and I used a 5.5 millimeter Tunisian crochet hook. Um, so I probably would normally use a bigger crochet hook, but I wanted it a little bit tighter. Um, so I'm going to grab just a 5 millimeter regular crochet hook and then I've got this big twist value in soft purple just so you can see the difference. Um, but the first thing that I do, so I did my, the bottom of the swatch and I went into the third loop and then I just did a slip stitch bind off um, for the top. But I will start in the upper right hand corner and attach my yarn so you can use whatever method you want and then I'm gonna do a half double crochet in that stitch and I'm gonna do a half double crochet in the stitches around it And so I put my last half double crochet in that corner stitch and then I'm going to chain two and do another half double crochet in there. And that's just because that's the corner, but you can already see that that's starting to straighten out all on its own. So the bottom does that and the top does that. So it is up a little bit. It's not going to be perfectly straight at first. Um, this is just what I would do if I was turning this into a blanket. Um, you can use a variety of stitches. You don't have to use a half double crochet. Um, that's just what I'm doing. So then I'm going down the side into each chain stitch and doing half double crochets. And I'm just making sure that I'm going through both sides of the chain so there isn't like big gaps or anything. And then I'm going to start down in the corner here and do my half double crochet, my chain two and my half double crochet and then we'll just half double crochet along the bottom. And I'm 
kind of squishing it in my hand so it is still curling a little bit but I'll show you what it looks like once we get this all the way crocheted. Alright, and that is already, it still curls a little bit. You can see that it's curling a little bit, but it's not nearly as curled as it was. So then what I would do, again, this is just a personal preference. I will block this, like that's realistically after I add a border, that's what I would do. But now I'm going to go backwards and I'm going to crab stitch. So a reverse single crochet in every stitch around. And I have a, a video on how to do a reverse single crochet or a crab stitch. Um, so you can check that out. I'll have it linked below. It's a little tricky when your yarn is rolling, but that's okay.
and then there see that made it like 10 times better and then obviously as you use it and you love it or whatever you're doing with it it'll continue to straighten itself out and flatten down um but the back of it looks super cute like that too and then you just weave in your ends obviously but like if you wanted to make like a patchwork blanket or something you could just make a bunch of these do some half double crochet borders and sew them all together and that would also straighten it out um but for a blanket because you just you don't they're too big to block 90% of the time or you just don't want to block them. I don't like to block blankets because they take forever to dry and I just want to use it especially after I've been crocheting it for like weeks at a time. Um, but yeah so that is how I would put a border on my Tunisian to straighten it out. Um, if you have any questions leave those in the comments below. This is just a super basic border. It's nothing incredibly fancy. Um, but if you have any suggestions that you would use, let me know. I would love to try those out. And I hope this helps. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.